the Heritage Place 2024 Winter Mix Hill. Coverage on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by The Sire. KVN Corona, new for 2024 at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. And hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. The first session here, the 2024 Winter Mix Hill here at Heritage Place is in the books. A multiple mix of horses going through the sales ring. You had short yearlings, you had mares in full, stallions going through the ring, as well as some two-year-olds, as well as horses in training. Let's look at some of the top sellers coming out of this first opening session. The highest selling equine from day one is not actually this mare in the ring, hip number 161, but in fact, the foal that she is carrying in utero, who is by He's Relentless, the champion, out of the fantastic apolitical jest mare, Lender 16, winner of over $874,000 on the racetrack, including a win in the AQHA Distance Challenge Championship. Consigned by Tom Mayer, Horton Racing LLC paid $200,000 to top the opening session with this bowl in utero. The second highest from the first opening session was hip number 91, a lucky lady, a 2020 sorrel filly by Good Reason SA out of the apolitical jest mare Political Nonsense. Now this four-year-old filly has earned almost $85,000 on the racetrack and was a finalist in the Grade 1 Texas Classic Futurity as well as the Grade 1 Rainbow Futurity. Consigned by Lucky Six Partnership, Slash Z Quarter Horses LLC paid $150,000 for this four-year-old filly. Now the third highest seller from the first opening session was a two-way tie between hit number 59 and 319. Hit 59 is the 2019 Bay Gelding San Lorenzo by Carter's Cartel out of the Mr. Jess Perry mare Scoopy Chuchi. This five-year-old gelding in the ring is the restricted grade one winner of the LQHBA sale futurity as a two-year-old and was a second in the Louisiana Million futurity as well as the Lee Berwick futurity, both of those restricted grade one events. San Lorenzo has earned almost $614,000 on the racetrack and was consigned by his owner, Rogelio Marquez, and was purchased by Juan Ureas for $130,000. And the other half of the two-way tie for third place was hip number 319, Wood D. Queen, a four-year-old filly by I Am King out of the Woodbridge mare, Miss Woody D. As his filly in the ring is a half-sister to Big D, winner of the Zia Derby and an earner of over a half million dollars. Now, Woody Queen has earned over $202,000 in her racing career, which included a third place finish in the New Mexico State Fair Futurity, a restricted grade two event, as well as a second place finish in the Shoe Fly Stakes in New Mexico. Consigned by Doug May, Dylan Lane paid $130,000 for this I Am King filly as the co-third highest seller from the first opening session. And be sure to go on stallionesearch.com for all the coverage for the 2024 Heritage Place January Winter Mix Sale. He's arrived. The Grade 1 winning and Grade 1 producing sire KVN Corona has arrived in Brobridge, Louisiana at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated. The AQHA Champion 2-year-old Colt and AQHA Champion 3-year-old Colt was quite the accomplished runner with a grade one win in the Ed Burke Million Futurity, a grade two win in the Pacific Coast Quarter Horse Breeders Futurity, and a grade three win in the El Primero de El Año Derby. Since entering stud, the royally bred son of Corona Cartel has surged onto the scene as a producer of major stakes winners, including the grade one Ed Burke Million Futurity winner, Political Rivalry, who also went on to win the grade two Pacific Coast Quarter Horse Breeders Futurity. KV and Corona is also the sire of the 2023 Heritage Place Oaks winner, Miss KVN. New for the 2024 breeding season and standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana, the ultra-impressive KVN Corona.